Welcome, I'm Andy from SWP and today we're going to run through what you get in the box on the Stealth Digitig 180DC Pulse machine. Uh, we'll go through what you get when you buy the machine and we'll go through the setup of the machine ready for welding. So let's open it up. In the carry case, you get the machine itself, gas regular gas hose and manual for operation. You'll also receive a torch package which will include electrode holder, earth cable, TIG torch, TIG adapter and TIG accessories. The machine itself is designed to run on 110 and 230 volts and it is gener generator friendly and it's a 120 amp at 60% duty cycle and very lightweight weighing in only at 7.5 kilos. So now we'll run through the setup procedure and the functions of, of the machine. So first of all is the mode selection button. The first one is MMA stick mode, lift TIG and HF TIG mode. The second one along is trigger selection, uh, two touch, press to weld, release to extinguish the arc. Four touch, press, release the trigger to initiate the arc press release to extinguish the arc. To adjust all these settings down here we use the current adjustment knob and we press it in to select. Just run through the cycle. First one along is the pre-gas. That's measured in time in seconds. So we've got that set at one second and that is the amount of gas flow before the arc starts. Next one along is start current, the amount of amperage for the first strike of the arc. Next along is up slope, again measured in seconds, it's the amount take time taken from start current to welding current. Next one along is whether we select standard TIG or pulse TIG. We'll leave it in standard for this instance. Next one along is welding current. We'll select 100 amps. <clears throat> Next selection across is downslope, again measured in seconds. The amount taken from welding current to end current. Next selection, end current, select 25 amps, it's the amount of current when we finish welding. Next selection across is post gas, again measured in seconds, it's the amount of gas flow after the arc has extinguished. This time needs to be correctly decided to ensure proper cooling of the welding puddle and the tungsten. And that's it, that's your machine all ready to weld. Right, let's get connect everything up and get it ready. So, first of all, we'll take us gas hose, our O-clip, turn the machine around, and just push the gas pipe onto the nipple at the back. Take your O-clip pliers and just crimp it down nice and tight. In front of the machine we'll take our earth lead. Remembering with TIG it is electrode negative so the earth lead on this occasion will go into the positive side. Take our TIG torch, connect it to our TIG adapter, just screw that on. 
which is nice and tight. Just slide the rubber boot over like so. Connect our gas pipe up. A nice gentle nip. Trigger cable and plug. Slide that in. Tighten that up. In. And there you go. We'll select the right consumables uh, for the torch material and current rating. On this occasion, we will select a 2.4 tungsten. 2.4 collet two point four it body slide that in just like that and tighten backing cap just slide it over and screw into the back, just leaving a little bit of tungsten out. We'll select the largest ceramic and just screw over like so. And that's your torch all ready, all connected and everything is ready to go. For more information or to arrange a demonstration of the machine, please contact our sales team at SWP and they can put you in touch with a local distributor and get you on your way. Thank you.